please tell us your name. My name is Wolf Holder, H-O-L-D-A. Okay. And what have you brought for the hip? Uh, I believe I have the original charter of the Jew Jewish synagogue of Sunbury, which is dated 1919. And uh, the original charter of, of this uh, item is that at one time it was a Methodist church, okay, and uh, the Methodist church had it, I guess, in the 1800s, and then they turned it in, they sold it to the Catholic church, which was St. Michael's, uh, and then St. Michael's had it for a few years, I guess, and they decided to build down on Market Street in Sunbury, Market in front, and uh, they sold the uh, rights, to the, I guess, the property to uh, the Jewish synagogue people, and uh, the charter was uh, originated, it's dated March the 25th, uh, of 1921, uh, I think, or 1919. Uh, there's two dates here. It, just, it says my commission expires. So, and these are the original, I guess, delegates of the church of the synagogue, and they turned it into a synagogue until a few years ago. Uh, they decided to tear the old synagogue down, and. Uh, what they did was they built a new synagogue there. It's an art street, right on Arch and Third Street in Sunbury here. And uh, so uh, I don't know if this is the, 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 the only one in Sunbury, but I talked to the rabbi of the synagogue of Sunbury, and she was very overwhelmed with what I had here. So, and of course the marking is there, so. Um, I guess that's the seal, mm -hmm. and uh, so I thought I'd bring it up and share a little history with <laughs> of, of this. I think it's very interesting that it was actually three different congregations of mm -hmm. religions in the same area. So, How did you acquire it? Uh, about 20 years ago, I was at a yard sale uh, on Front and Market Street. Um, Attorney Rice's wife uh, he, I think he passed away, and, and she, they lived there on a corner of Race and Front Street, and they were, I'm a yard sale person, so I just decided to go over to the yard sale right around the corner from my house, and I saw these laying, laying this was laying in the grass. So I said, ma'am, how much, how much did you want for that frame? Which didn't, I didn't realize it was that important historically, you know. And she said, well, give me a dollar. So I paid a dollar 20 years ago for it. So, I uh, I sort of took pride in it because, and uh, I showed it to the rabbi of Sunbury, and they were very overwhelmed with seeing it. She, I think it was it's the original charter. <laughs> so. And you had mentioned earlier that you recognized some of the names on it. Yes, yes, they were all prompt businessmen in this area. Um, Mike Miller, I don't know what exactly what he did, but. Uh, now, Markle, Markley, I don't know if it was him, but he, he passed away. He lived right across from St. Michael's on, uh, Church on Market Street, and I used to deliver papers to him, and I don't know if, it's the same, if it was, he was 90-some years old, so I would probably presume this is when he passed away, so I would presume he was one of the founder, uh, you know, charter signers here. Mm -hmm. And then and, uh, Hirsch, I don't know who Hirsch was, but... Rosenblum, now they, they were very prompt people in this area. Uh, the Rosenblums, I worked for, I think, probably his nephews or sons. They had a candy store on, back in the 50s on 2nd Street in Sunbury called Houts Tobacco. They, they sold wholesale candy and uh, cigarettes and so on. And it was a wholesale place. And they also had a franchise for Pabst Blue Urban Beer and Sunshine Beer, which Sunshine Beer was made in Reading. And uh, I worked, uh, th their names were Abe Rosenblum and uh, Max, Max Rosenblum. They were brothers. And I worked for them for about 10 years. And uh, uh, H. Rosenblum, which I think would probably be Herschel Rosenblum, and uh, 
Michaels, I'm not sure. I tried to inquire who Michaels was. Now, he was from Siemens Grove. The rest of them were all from Sunbury. And uh, Mike Miller was the, pre the president of this, the new organization of the synagogue. And uh, he was the president, and Morris Hirsch was a secretary, and so was Markley. And uh, so uh, they were all signed by Rosenblum, so they were all prompt people that started the, the Jewish synagogue in this, in this town. And you've, lived, and you've lived in Sunbury your whole life? No, I've been, I'm originally from the Shemokin area, the coal, the coal regions out um, about 20 miles from here. I'm originally from Shemokin area. And I came here back in 50, 53. So I've been, from 53, I've been living here. And uh, so I was, uh, I thought I'd bring this in to share. <laughs> it's very historical, I think. So. What got you into like um, history and like? Uh, I just like to collect things. I, I've been collecting, I'm, I'm 72. I, I've been collecting since I'm nine years old. And uh, started out with a stamp collection, and I just took off. I love flea markets. I, uh, I just love to go to flea markets and yard sales and rummage sales or any place. And once in a while, you find a, a pretty decent item, you know. Yeah. I just love to collect things. So. Do you have any final thoughts? Um, no, I just, uh, I'm just happy to share it with anybody. It, you know. It appreciates local history. Yeah. I have a lot of ho local history stuff, but this I thought was very important. So I, I dug this out. It took me an hour to find it. My, my house is packed. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming in. You're welcome. I thank you for your interview.